Hello, hello. It's time for another vlog here. Welcome back to my channel of all kinds of stuff. <laughs> anyway, it's hot. It's like 97 right now, which is actually cooler than it has been. It was like 112 the other day. Uh, but anyway, so this one's going to be probably kind of short because of that, because even at nighttime it's still hot, which is kind of uncharacteristic for this area of California. Usually it cools down pretty m a lot, like a lot at night. But anyway, I'm going to meet bleh, I'm going to meet my friend Tello <laughs> at the Village Idiot, and we're going to do some street photography, which is something I haven't done for a while, and I'm not that good at. So you're probably going to see some okay pictures uh, from this adventure, and I'm also going to do some video b-roll especially now that i have a larger card thank you fujifilm for supplying me with the delkin black card with the uh, xh2s rebate program i'll put the link down here if you've recently bought an xh2s you can get you too can get the 325 gigabyte delkin black cf express type b card for free with the proof of purchase and your address so anyway I'm gonna go do some B-roll touristy type video around the Melrose area and take some cool street photographs and then I'm gonna come home and we'll probably have something to eat, um, maybe at the Village Idiot, cause it's a, it's, they've got good food there. And then, uh, and then I'll be back because it's, it's hot and there's mosquitoes and I just don't really wanna be out too late. So, all right, I'll see you when I get there. What well, do you think, it's hot, isn't it? I'm going to fill up your water bowl with cold water, and I'm going to give you a treat, okay? <laughs> Alright, so while I'm waiting for the ride here, I'm just going to go over what I'm bringing with me, because since this is going to be more of a street sort of situation here, I'm just bringing the XH2S with the wireless mic here, and the 16-55 f2.8 that's on it, and I will be bringing the ND filter. And today I'm gonna, instead of bringing a backpack, cause it's just, it's too hot out and the equipment's heavy, I just, I need to travel light. So I'm taking this Peak Design Sling Pack and it'll have the 16 millimeter 1.4 in it for video at nighttime or just night shooting in general because 1.4, I'll be a little extra wide, but I'll make it work because I always do with that lens. The lens is amazing, I love it. Then I have the ND filter case so I can put it away when it gets darker, a spare microphone, and my battery case that has spare batteries and memory cards in it and that's it going pretty simple tonight so got my wrist strap here too and hopefully that will be all i need um i don't think i'll regret not bringing my telephoto lens so yeah anyway um let's see i just got a notification don't know what it says it says a few more minutes anyway i am going to fill up the dog's water bowl and give her a nice treat yeah, you heard that, didn't you? And then I'll be on my way, and I'll see you when I get there. I've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I'm never so packed for the stack, never lied on the back. Okay, we're out here adventuring. We've already seen some really cool stuff. We walked through a little plaza that was like very sort of Mediterranean looking. We got some cool photos and uh, we just walked by the most interesting boxing place. Uh, Tiger Boxing Gym. Ti Tiger Boxing Gym. Hey, and it, from Nigeria? It was in the smallest little place and it was so cool because he used the space so efficiently. And there was people in there doing speed bags and everything. You could tell it was kind of a popular place, but it was, it was like, you don't see that. You would never expect that kind of place to be in that small of a space right around the corner there. Right. And it's just cool. Like, it's just, I don't know, only in LA you find- For sure. It's just I love LA. so many cool things like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
All right, so stopped at Mona Lisa, this small little. So this stretch is full of little hole in the wall places like this. I'm sorry if I look sweaty, it's hot. So uh, we decided that we're gonna shoot video, we're gonna shoot some photos and we're gonna food hop. So down. Because a lot of the stuff, the slices are cheap. They're like four bucks each. So we could make like two or three stops and do like food reviews tonight. <laughs> five, five to go. So this is our one out of five. Uh, uh, one, five. <laughs> I'm okay with it. As long as I got room in my belly, I mean, I'm down. Woo. So. We'll see. We're, we're going to give the review of the Mona Lisa pizza here shortly. We've got our little appetizer here, the garlic knots. We'll see how they are. So, so far the verdict on the garlic knots. He's getting ready to... Look at that veggie pizza. Doesn't that look delicious? Shit, it's rainy parmesan. <laughs> anyway, these are really good. They're like, they're not dry, but they're not... I don't know, they're like crispy, but they're doughy at the same time. And the garlic is very good, which is good, but it's also really good because they're not doused in garlic butter, so they're not greasy at all. And that's a good thing, at least for most people, but so far so good. We're gonna get the verdict on Tello's veggie slice soon, as soon as my uh, pepperoni slice comes out. I really should've got that, what was that called? Sweetie, the, uh, hottie, something? The sweet hottie. Sweet hottie, and it's like, pepperoni and some salami and what else was on there habanero Habane marinara Pineapple. habanero or something like that yeah. yeah so there's options for next time we just finished up our food at mona lisa kitchen I'll give it, it's pretty good. I'll give it, they, they're creative. I'll give it like four out of five stars. It's, it's definitely worth a stop, but it's not so far off the regular pizza sort of style that it's like super unique, but it is very good. Like they do have a couple of unique flavors. Um, and now we're just gonna walk around. It's getting, it's dark. So we might be getting some good like neon sign reflection and people action, so. Keep watching and we'll see what we can find. Oh, here's a record store. This is cool. So it's actually a little bit better lit than I thought, so I may not actually need to use my 1614. 2.8 seems to be doing all right. And uh, they've got some good photos tonight. Uh, tonight's been more about photos than anything. And we've seen some interesting cars, interesting people, dogs, activities happening. So I think we're just gonna probably walk up a little bit farther and then walk back down towards this direction because Tello parked his car over here somewhere and just see if any more of these activities happen. And I talked to more, talk to you more about the settings I'm using, but they're like kind of random. Like they're just really all over the place because it's darker in some places than others. So I don't know, I'll, I'll just put the settings next to each picture like I do normally. And hopefully you can maybe learn something from that or tell me that I'm doing it wrong. Look at that, that dog. Amazing, that dog is living the dream right now. So All it's right. nine minutes away. You're cool? Yeah. So we're talking about going to Salt and Straw now because all of the refreshing cold, cold dessert places on Melrose have closed for the night and it's only what? 9.01. 9.01. So it's a little early, especially for Melrose on a Friday. So anyway, we're, we're headed to Largemont to pick up some salt and straw, some of the yummiest ice cream on the planet. And then probably call it a night, but we'll, I'll do some video and some photos from there because it's a pretty cool place, especially in Larchmont. It's like a little village area. It's kind of neat, worth a trip. It was just my signature. All right, I've returned home. Baby girl's happy. Yeah? Wagging your tail, destroying the pizza man. I had a lot of fun. It was interesting seeing some of the stuff that we saw. 
uh, it's just, I don't know. Because it's out of the norm, I, I don't know. It's, it's I, I really don't know how to describe or even find the words to say what I, I'm trying to say. It doesn't even make any sense, but um, you know, when, when you look, when you go do a different style of photography than you're used to, and you know kind of what you want to get, but you don't really know how to get it because it's not your sort of forte. But like in my case, I follow some really great street photographers. Some of them I know personally, I haven't shot with for a while, but would love to. And learning how they see things versus how I take landscapes and some of the videos that I do, it's not so different. It's just a different way of looking at it. It's like not a different technique. The, the settings in the camera, they're all a little different, but it's just a, a different pers perspective and a different, like, what are you looking for type of thing. And it, it is fun to try out and it was fun to see some of the stuff that we saw and the little different areas that I haven't experienced of Melrose yet. There's some neat, like, pathways that go into different places that make little plazas that are kind of cool and so it's definitely worth going back i think uh, next friday tello said he was down to try hollywood and go on the walk of fame maybe see spider-man doing some backflips or something that'll be pretty interesting so we can look forward to another street one and i'll try to if i can maybe next time borrow borrow somebody's um like gopro to put in the hot shoe on my camera so i can get like some POV footage, like first person footage while I'm doing it because remembering to take video while you're waiting for a certain moment or somebody to walk by some sort of interesting mural or, or something is kind of hard to do. And if you're taking photo or taking video and then you want all of a sudden want to flip it around and take a picture, it the moment kind of passes and you're like, uh, I wasn't really watching what they were doing and it would have been different because that way I could have told the story a little bit better. So anyway, I'll get better with practice, hopefully. And then I can start mixing some street photography in with my normal photos and, and some of that um, little out of the norm stuff for my videos as well. So anyway, I'm gonna get the stuff off my card. Spend a little time with this one here, right? Are you happy I'm home? You want to play? You threw a piece of guy on the floor. What do you have to say? Oh, okay. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the stuff off my card and see see if it's as good as I thought it was. By now you've seen it, so let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.